Hello everyone. So far we have discussed the modes of heat transfer which are by uh, conduction and convection. In conduction heat is being transferred with the help of lattice vibrations and free electron flow. And in convection heat is being transferred by the uh, bulk fluid motion which is caused by natural means or forced. So anyway this conduction and convection will be requiring some medium for transferring the heat. But there is another mode which we are going to study which is known as radiation which is not necessitating any presence of medium for transferring the heat. This examples for radiation heat transfer you might have seen. If some uh, see fire is there and some person is standing and this uh, flames will be at a higher temperatures and he will be receiving heat from this uh, flame, uh, flames or uh, this fire and this heat will be transferred by the phenomena of radiation. Similarly, the heat that is reaching the earth surface from sun, which you are calling it as solar radiation, which is also coming under this radiation heat transfer. So about this we will be studying. So it is the third mode of heat transfer. And according to Prevost, every substance with a temperature above the absolute zero level will be continuously emitting energy in the form of radiation. And in contrast to, uh, as I already have mentioned, conduction and convection, this radiation is not necessitating any presence of medium for transferring the heat. Here, between the person and fire, there may be air. Even if it is, even if the space is evacuated, the radiative heat transfer will be occurring between this uh, two hot and cold body. So it is not requiring any medium in between hot and cold surfaces. The actual mechanism of radiation is not fully understood. However, we are using two theories for explaining this radiation. One is Maxwell's wave theory and another one is Max Planck's Condon theory. According to Maxwell's wave theory, the energy is transferred from a hot to cold body in the form of electromagnetic waves which we have already studied about this electromagnetic waves. These are characterized by the its wavelength, uh, velocity and its frequency which are related by lambda equal to c by nu where lambda is wavelength c is the velocity of light which is an electromagnetic wave divided by frequency. And in uh, vacuum, it will be having a velocity which we are calling it as C0, 3 lakhs meter per second. In any other medium, velocity of light will be getting reduced. And this reduction in velocity will be given by an index called a refractive index, which is defined as C0 by C. For gases, approximately this refractive index is 1. For glass, if you are taking glass, the velocity of light in glass will be 1.5 times lesser than that the velocity in vacuum. So it is 1.5 in refractive index for glass. So according to this Maxwell's wave theory, the radiation energy is in the form of electromagnetic waves. And another theory is also used which is Max Planck's Condon theory. According to this, the propagation of thermal radiation is uh, taking place in the form of packets of energy which are called as conda. Each having an energy given by E is equal to H into nu which is Hc by lambda where H is the Planck's constant. This also you have studied 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second. From this equation you can obtain the whichever uh, waves are having lower wavelengths the energy will be higher means the radiation with the lower wavelength will be more destructive in nature. So to study the radiation specifically the thermal radiation due to the temperature effects we have to just look into the uh, radiation spectrum electromagnetic radiation spectrum this you have uh, studied in your plus two physics the spectrum of electromagnetic radiations are given the waves with the largest wavelength are radio waves at the right extreme about n raised to 5 micrometer all this wavelengths are given in micrometer and Next, microwaves are coming, infrared, next visible spectrum, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. This gamma rays are having the lowest wavelengths which will be possessing highest energy or intensity of radiations will be higher. And in between the spectrum, the different bodies which are coming under most of the engineering application, 
the bulk of the energy emitted because of temperature or the so called thermal energy emitted will be lying in between a wavelength spectrum of 0.1 to 100 micrometer and this portion of spectrum is referred to as uh, thermal radiation so in this this 0.1 to 100 micrometer region is called as thermal radiation as most of the bodies are emitting waves in this region and out of this thermal radiation spectrum the sun which is having an average temperature of 5760 kelvin approximately is also emitting energy and this bulk of this energy is lying in between 0.1 to 3 micrometer and this region is known as solar radiation so out of this thermal radiation the radiation emitted by sun will be lying in this range and out of this 0.1 to 3 micrometer solar radiation some uh, part of this will be visible to the human eye the radiation with the 0.38 to 0.78 micrometer will be visible and this is known as visible radiation so this is the this thermal radiation region from ranging from 0.1 to 100 micrometer will be focused for our study and here we will be studying in detail about the different uh, properties radiative heat exchange etc so in this chapter the different topics to be covered i will be mentioning here the different topics to be covered are first one irradiation second one mac power if you are uh, considering a body there are two chances either this body can receive the energy by radiation or this can emit this energy and in irradiation irradiation simply means the total incident radiation energy and uh, in detail we will be studying in the next videos the uh, total incident energy can go in three ways the material can absorb material can reflect back and material can transmit also so this will here we will be talking about the irradiation and here i will be talking about the mc mc property means every body above this zero absolute zero temperature will be emitting energy and that things will be studying in the under mc power and one thing if you are uh, considering the radiation will be depending upon two things depends on two things one is wavelength and another one is direction means whatever it be energy is being incident incident on the surface or being emitted by the surface it will be containing different spectrum means uh, if you are specifying a range say lambda equal to 0 to uh, 1 micrometer means the entire amount of energy which are coming on the surface or emitted from the surface will be lying in the entire range 0 to infinity and if you are focusing on to a specific range of wavelength or if you are uh, giving or specifying the irradiation or emissive power per unit wavelength then you will be uh, calling that term as monochromatic or spectral that thing uh, we will be seeing or discussing in the next videos and similarly if you are uh, taking a particle this energy will be emitted in all directions or at a time the energy emitted will be making a locus of which in the 3d plane a hemispherical uh, path it will be making means in all directions this radiant energy will be going so in a hemispherical manner the energy emission will be taking place so if you are uh, discussing or analyzing the amount of energy uh, emitted in a particular direction means we will be looking for the directional behavior also then you have to study the term which is called solid angle about this solid angle in detail we will be studying so this first irradiation the amount of energy incident mc power amount of energy emitted and radiation density is the directional mc power with the use of solid angle is radiation density we will be discussing and next we have to study the concept of black body and the black body radiation laws we have to study and at the end we have to study radiosity radiosity simply i will be mentioning here a surface is there the net energy going out from the surface is known as radiosity suppose if energy is incident on the surface i have mentioned this irradiation i will be calling by the letter i 
emissive power by E, the radiation intensity by I and radiosity by J. If I is the amount of energy incident, some part will be getting reflected. Sorry, this irradiation will be mentioned with the letter G. So, G is the amount of energy incident. Some part will be reflected and that part will be calling it as rho times the incident radiation will be the reflected energy. Rho is called a reflectivity about which we will be studying. And also the material is able to emit also and this emissive power is given as capital E. And the sum of, sum of this emitted energy plus reflected energy we will be calling it as this radiosity J. So about all these terms we will be studying in this uh, radiation basic concepts chapter. And in next chapter we will be studying the radiative heat exchange between surfaces. So thank you.